What's up, everybody? I'm IGP, and welcome to Oxygen Not Included. It's developed by Cly Entertainment, and it's a space colony simulation game. You manage your colony on an asteroid, and try not to die. The graphics remind me a lot of Don't Starve. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has said that, but the gameplay is where I think it shines. It reminds me of a combination between Sheltered and Life in Bunker. In fact, it reminds me of a lot of different management games that we've played in the past. The game's not out just yet. The release date is to be announced, but I will still give you the Steam page in the description below, so that way you can get some more information on it. Now, of course, being a management simulation game, the runs can last a very long time. So if you guys are interested enough, let me know in the comments section below if you would like to see this turned into a series and we will do so now i have familiarized myself with the basics of the game i know how everything works for the most part but i left the rest all the discoverables for me to discover in the future i don't want to ruin the entire fun of the game but let's go ahead and jump right into it so on this screen we get to assemble our crew which means they give us three random people they are called duplicants which are basically clones of each other based on their name so every howard we get i'm assuming is going to be the same which we can shuffle and get random but i think because it's a very forgiving game and it's not as relentless as the other ones that these attributes and such are more of a beneficial thing to your colony rather than being a detriment so i'm just going to keep what they give me i don't really see it going too wrong and we're going to call our colony the ig paradise because what else what are we going to call it? Makes no sense for a colony, but let's go ahead and embark. Alert! Your crew has awoken miles beneath the surface of an unfamiliar terrestrial body. Oddly, they have no recollection of how they got here. It might be best to start digging. Yes, let's do that. Okay, tips, basic controls and stuff. I already know what to do. This is a very familiar setup, probably. Here's our cycles. That's how old the colony is. Uh, so we need to start collecting some resources pretty much immediately. So we're going to go down here and dig and I'm just going to dig a little bit straight down. Let's just actually go ahead and do this. There we go. So we're digging and there's some important aspects. Every time you start a map, it is randomly generated for the most part, but where you are is always created this little hole and it has the oxalite producing oxygen. Don't ever get rid of that. You're going to need that. In fact, I'm going to get rid of this to give the most flow of the oxygen. So we'll collect the resources here. We're going to need to build some stuff with those resources, like a ladder to get up and down. And beyond that, we're going to need some storage compactors, which I will build two of. That way we can store a whole bunch of stuff and I don't have to worry about it for a while. I will probably need to put some tiles here, so I'll do that. You can select the tiles and it will actually, they'll get rid of the dirt and then immediately put the tile down, which is a nice little convenient thing. In fact, this game runs very smoothly. Uh, Life in Bunker was a very buggy game. I felt like it wasn't optimized and the core aspect of the gameplay was there, but it wasn't at all what it was supposed to be, I felt. This, however, is very well done and everything works very smoothly. So these little icons will tell you when something's wrong. Again, very beneficial. The game kind of holds your hand in a way. It's like, hey, you're fucking up over here. Look at the flashing red stuff. And then we'll go over here and, we'll, and we'll, we'll correct what needs to be corrected. It'll highlight in red and we can hover our mouse over it and it'll tell us exactly what we need to do if there's something wrong. Of course, I'm going to pause it because pausing the game is like the most important thing ever. Uh, but I'm going to keep it to all for now because we're not that far into our base yet. And we're going to allow us to store everything there so we don't have to carry it around on our person. We can also increase the speed. Obviously, we're going to need algae for to produce more oxygen eventually, uh, which is very important. Now, I can't tell. Is this underwater? This is not water, right? No, this is just regular oxygen. Okay, so we can actually craft out of this, right? I, I kind of don't want to die, but at the same time, let's build some tiles right here. That's important. Dig out this, and then we can build more tiles out here eventually and keep the oxygen right there. I want to keep that oxygen flowing in if we can. So I'm going to go back to normal speed now because I really need to make sure I get everything that I need. This is the problem with a lot of management games is if you don't have the right setup at the beginning, you're probably going to die. Like right now, it's telling me colony requires a toilet. So I need to put that down somewhere. Okay, and I can actually put tiles over here, I think. And we'll collect this dirt, I guess. Over here, I can actually put the toilet, right? It might be not a bad idea. Let's just carve that out and... Where would that be? Plumbing? Yeah, outhouse. Requires a two by two space, so that's actually perfect. I'll put that there. And for some reason, all this stuff needs like dirt to maintain or to continue working. It's very strange how they make all this work. In fact, we will eventually be putting contaminated dirt and water and making food for ourselves. When that time comes, I'll show you guys, but we do need a water source. So actually, I'm going to try to dig a bit of a ramp up here. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Get rid of that, and then I can put 
more tile. I kind of just want to make sure nothing gets in that doesn't need to be. Like that, I will make the staircase. And they can just kind of climb up. Can we actually make ramps? I don't remember if we could do that, but that, that would be super convenient. So this is currently emitting no oxygen. I wonder why it's emitting no oxygen. Does that mean that it's out? Whoa, I didn't even pay attention. What the hell is this? Meal harvest remaining, ready to harvest. Meal wood. Okay. Well, I'm thinking that uh, this oxygen, for some reason, it's not emitting any. We have tons of oxygen, though. It's not really a concern. Once carbon dioxide starts being produced, that's when we need to focus on fixing it. But I think we're okay. Okay, so we need some dirt. I don't know if... That's sandstone. Where is dirt? We need some dirt. Sandstone. Copper ore. Oh, we're going to need that. Is there like a cop? Ooh, there's a copper resource right over here. So actually, let's go ahead and make a little tunnel for us to go straight up, right? Uh, this can be like this. I don't know if that's going to work. But we can make a floor out here. <laughs> I'm asking a lot right now. I know, but we'll make it work. Something like this, and then we can start digging. There we go. We're going to get some copper. I think there's some dirt in there. That's coal. Nope, no dirt. Well, we do need the copper. Is this dirt? This is dirt. So that's good. Okay, so let's actually just go ahead and go out here. It's not a bad idea. Let's let's destroy this or cancel that. And we'll dig this out. And then we'll put ladders to come down here. Which I actually... Uh, harvest? Oh, we can harvest food from the plants. Okay, let's do that. I can only dig that up. Okay, that's fine. We'll dig up. We'll dig up. And then we'll build out here so we can get some dirt. Okay, we got water spillage over here, which means we're going to need to mop up eventually. Yeah, so we'll mop up. You can sweep, mop, and do all this different stuff. And basically, so for instance, that all can be mopped. Over here, though, it won't pop up, which means that there's nothing to be mopped. However, this stuff can be sweeped, which we will mess with eventually. Harvesting something over there. Let's build this ladder to come all the way down, and then we can start digging. Let's dig all this up and actually just keep keep going over here for more dirt. Algae and dirt is very important. Oh shit, everyone's asleep. That's right. <laughs> uh, wait. What the hell was that? That was weird. Okay, so she's sleeping on oxalite. I'm assuming that's probably going to be bad for her health. <laughs> I don't know if, you know, we're going to be able to keep her alive that way. But I guess let's speed up the sleeping process since nothing else is happening. Uh, eventually, we can dig that out. This can be harvested, right? For food. This plant must be reach maturity before it can be harvested. Okay. Well, we're going to have food out of that. That's good. There we go. Now, get down there and just start getting all that dirt and algae. Let's get an oxygen producer in here somewhere. Uh, we're going to need the algae oxidizer, which can just kind of sit right here. Because they can walk past everything. It's not really a big deal. Whoa, what was that? Oh, everyone's eating. Okay. That's fine. God, we have 23,000 calories in storage right now. We're good. We're good on food. Uh, oh, this needs ladders. Right, 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 right. I'm aware. We can build that and then continue constructing over there. So now we got dirt. Do we have dirt? We do not have dirt. We definitely need to sweep up, though. So let's sweep that up. Oh, yeah, this needs power. So we need to create the power circuitry. So this is a hamster wheel <laughs> that our people will eventually uh, use to generate power. And we can drag electrical wire to connect the two. We can also use this for research, which I will put over here. At some point, this will be the bottom level once we harvest all this out. Once this is powered, we'll get a steady flow of oxygen in this area, which is very important, as always. And we should sweep up a bit. And eventually, we are going to get more people. They come 1.2 more cycles or days, and we'll have another person available to us to use. We don't have to add them just yet, but they will be available for us in the future. See, now it's producing oxygen. Strangely enough. All right, he generates the power. I'm actually going to go ahead and dig this up. Because we're going to have to make something else. And if I want to collect all these resources down here. So let's go ahead and build a temp ladder. And then we'll sweep all this up. And then we can just close all this off. This thing needs to reach maturity. External temp temperature is too hot though. I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to dig it up. Just dig it up and then we'll sweep. Sweepity sweep sweep. So once the ladders are built, we'll go down there and collect all that stuff. She's working her ass off. We need beds. We need beds. I'm thinking what I could do is turn this into a bed place. So once we get up here, which I can build more ladders for, uh, once we do this, we'll carve this out, and then I'll make another... Here, let me see if I can explain what I'm trying to do. So we'll connect this all the way over here, right? 
Actually, get rid of this one. And then, so, we'll have a row of beds, a ladder going up, and then a row of beds. Yeah? Maybe that'll work? I think it'll be okay. Alright, so now we can put down research, right? We need to start doing research stuff. So we need to put research here, and we can also put, for the electrical stuff, a tin battery, which will store some extra power. And we can drag these, like so, and then drag them like that, and they'll connect all to the same circuit. So basically, and I'll actually put another battery down, that's actually a good idea. But, uh, so when they do this, they'll store energy in these two batteries, which will power these two things. And we can continue doing research, which we can't even unlock until we have this down, but... You'll see what that will look like. So we're gonna deconstruct these now. Um, and then put a... A bit of tile straight out, if we could. Actually, let's get rid of that so you can get the rest. There we go. Now, can you get out? Yes, you can. Oh, he can climb too! I didn't know that. That's kinda nice. Wait, can I not build there? Oh, I have to get rid of this. Dig up. I'm sorry. I know I probably need that for food later on, but we can make food. We can turn contaminated dirt and water into uh, a meal, apparently. Oh, get that seed. No, get that seed. Yes. No, 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 no. I need you to sweep that, dude. No, 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 no. Get rid of that. We need to sweep that seed up. What is this? More seeds, too? Dude, sweeps. Come on, guys. We need to sweep. <laughs> Bad. Okay, did we get the seed? We did. Okay, so... What is this? Sandstone. We don't need that. We don't need that. That's not a big deal. Alright, build that and we're good. Uh, this needs open research. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is get sanitation stuff because they're going to get dirty and diseased. So we're going to go to liquid plumbing and then we hit novice research and then fabricate. So we'll queue up us getting possibly, once they do the research, six points, which will then add to the 20 that we need. And once we finally reach the end, we'll unlock all of those and then get access to start unlocking other things that are going to be super fun. So, uh, let's go ahead and just keep going. I'm going to build some tiles right here. Uh, let's dig this stuff up. I know the algae and stuff is super important. And the oxidized, or the oxalite stuff. Okay, they're over there doing stuff. Let's go ahead and build this. So I think, where is it? Furniture, cot. Okay, so we can build one, two, three, and then it's perfectly four. Perfectly four. That is amazing. Oh, we got another person. Sweet. So, choose duplicate. So, this person, dude. Yvette. Drivers, or Diver's Lungs Interior Decorator. The Yvette's every waking moment is plagued by her terrible genetic curse, a horrifying acute sense of smell. Okay. Uh, well, she's a f fear of what? This duplicate has an unshakable fear of kitchens and the culinary arts. Cannot perform job. Oh. Can't build, can't cook. Well, this one can do everything, though. Tinkering sounds good. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. I don't want any negative impact <laughs> at all. So, sweep up. I think we're doing a good job so far. I don't see us dying anytime soon. We do have enough energy to keep this going. In fact, can I add more to Q? Yeah. Let's keep it up. Now we're going to need a food production thing. Uh, so let's make some food because we're, we're going to eventually run low. A microbe musher. We'll put right here. And again, electrical wiring. This is not going to be very organized, by the way. I will reorganize everything eventually, but <laughs> right now, this is good. In fact, can we put the other station? Supercomputer can be worked by duplicates to conduct intermediate research to unlock new technologies. Okay, so we can actually put this here, too. Just in case, you know? Just in case we need the other things. Because for the research, if we look here, for the next step, like for sanitation, in order to unlock it, we also need 10 of that research, the bigger one. So, I'll keep that there. This is a nice little organized place. We got our water flow over here, which will help. Let's sweep this up, actually. This is kind of a mess. Sweep that up. Okay, we got people sleeping in beds. That's good. Wait, why can't you sleep? Interrupted sleep, why? Was rudely awoken. Vomiter, natural bust, uh, heart immune system. I don't know why their sleep is being interrupted. I guess maybe because there's stuff to do or noise? No fabrication. All right, let's... Uh, oh, we'll, we'll make the... The mush bar. Let's fabricate it. And then somebody will be cooking. Alright, so, if we look at our power overlay, we have a whole bunch of jewels stored for energy, which will be activated by this eventually. Which is kind of nice. For some reason, we're not building this either. How come we can't build- oh, it's unreachable. Alright, well, let's, uh, get rid of this. Deconstruct. I hope that's not going to pour water in. It is gonna pour water in. Okay, we're gonna have to- we're gonna have to mop. Oh boy. Uh, the water pouring in is not good. Can we- can we prioritize this? Yes, put this to nine. Let's build that quick. Come on, come on, come on. And then let's build another tile. We'll be good. 
Build a tile. Come on. And then we need to mop. We'll mop up all this mess. <laughs> Interrupted sleep. Grimy. Dirty hands. Dude, we need to get this stuff going. Uh, I need to oh, fabricate more research. Okay, so maybe it's going a little bit too fast. Let's keep it down to one. I tend to do that a lot in this game. Or these games. So we're at ten. We're almost there for... Well, the first step. Because then we have to get other things. Uh, water is still flowing somehow. Can we mop? Water is still somehow flowing. Six visits remaining. Oh, that's right. We have to clean it out before anything else. We're also going to have to sweep. If we could get that done quickly. All right, so we have this entire open place over here. We're still generating oxygen, which is good. Let's make more mush bars. The lice loaf. Meat lice compacted into a dense immobile loaf. I don't know where do we get that stuff from. I don't think we have enough for that. But we'll just make the mush bar. Apparently it causes diarrhea, which is terrible. Open research. Okay, so we'll do this one. And then no research selected. I selected it. Oh, maybe I can't. Oh, I can't do it just yet. All right, that'll stay there for now. We'll uh, disable the use of the building. Okay, we'll disable that. So that way uh, we don't have to worry about it using too much power. And I think for now I will go ahead and cancel this. Can I, can I multi-cancel? I don't know if I can. I mean, these are all unreachable, which is fine. But I wonder if me having them there will make them freak out and think that they have shit to do when they don't need to. I don't know. There we go. So we'll just close it off for now since we only have four people. 1.8 days, we're probably going to have to make another. Let's make another storage compactor because we're going to run out of shit. Uh, this stuff, we're out of research. Keep it going. Are we there yet? Did we learn it? Oh, we need three more. Three more. That's it. Let's go, guys. Let's hurry it up. Speed it up just a little bit. Excellent. Insufficient oxygen generation. Okay, so we're not... Where is... It's unbreathable over here. Unbreathable. Can we get... Uh, hmm. A little gas. Well, as far as oxygen goes, algae terrarium it, uh, recycles carbon dioxide into a small amount of oxygen, gains a minor efficiency boost in direct light. Okay, re requires farming. This converts algae into oxygen. So we should probably make another one. Uh, somewhere over here. Okay, where- Oh, these are the dead spots. I see. Okay. So I could put one another one over here. That's not a bad idea. Let's put some power. And connect it. Bam. And then we'll play. And then they'll make it. Okay, so let's make that. And then we'll just com completely put- Why do you just fall asleep where you are, dude? Go sleep in the bed. <laughs> Move to... Oh, we don't because we don't have the bed. Never mind. They would automatically do it. I got you. I got you. Back to work, everyone. We need to construct that last cot. Can we do that, please? Can that be the focus? Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing? All right. I'm going to build a ladder up here so we can dig some of this stuff. Not a bad idea. What happened? What happened? Did we get research? We did. Yes. Okay. So now we can do... Now we can do the big stuff. Uh, Enable it, right? Yes. We'll turn it on. No fabrications queued. There we go. Okay, so now we can do intermediate research and fabricate. Yeah! Let's do it! This is awesome. Okay, so this is going to be connected to power. We only have one power generator. We might need to do something about that. I might need to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a step over here, right? And... Uh, no, cancel this one. But I'm going to make tiles over here and this will be a place that we can get water from because I know we're gonna have to do that and we'll dig that one out there we go and then I can put another uh, generator over here which wouldn't be a bad idea and then electrical wire is connected BAM I think that works <laughs> eventually we could even put another one but I think for right now this will be good all right we got the fourth cot built very good so we have everywhere everywhere people can sleep that's all good and we're producing food right or no we stopped shit Keep making food. We still have 24,000 calories. I think we're good. Fabricate more research. We need it. I'm doing this at the fastest speed. I'm too good. Four and two. Oh, we're doing so well. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, this needs to store all. I don't care what's in there. Eventually, I'll have it organized where certain ones carry certain stuff, but I think we're fine. Max pressure. How's oxygen? How can I check that? Gas plumbing, decor overlay, oxygen overlay. Let's see. Okay, so there's a, a bit of... Some places that just seem to not have a good concentration. I don't know how that works in this game, but I guess it's because we're polluting it with all this stuff in here. Which is not a big deal. Alright, keep the research up. Keep the research up. Keep it up. We're doing very well. We are doing very well. 
Uh, once we unlock this, we'll be good. Because all these guys have dirty stuff, and I'm assuming that's actually probably interrupting their sleep and causing all kinds of other problems, so... This would be nice if we can finish that. We have extra oxygen flowing over here that we need to close off, too. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. Maybe this can be, like, the, the sanitarium place where I put the lavatory and all this other stuff we're gonna unlock eventually. Could put another battery over here, which is not a bad idea. I know we probably don't need it right now, but the more that we can store, the better, because that's the less stuff that they have to do to keep it going. So they still have- oh, they can't reach that, can they? Fuck! Let's deconstruct that. And then they can reach it. That's weird that they can't reach it at that angle. I feel like that should be a thing, that they can reach- that they can reach that. Is everyone sleeping? Alright, good. Some people are- no, they're fine! Oh no, some people have interrupted sleep. You guys are terrible at this, dude. I don't understand. Well, everyone seems pretty energetic. I mean, you know. All right, well, can we build this? Is it reachable now? Electrical wire is reachable. Let's build that. Come on. Did we build it? Yes, we did build it. Okay. So, keep this here as like a little stair. It should be good because it needs a foundation up there. We only have one outhouse, too. That's actually, can we clean this? We need to clean the toilet. Somebody needs to do that because it only has one visit remaining before people start freaking out. All right, are we almost done with this research? Oh my god, dude, it's happening so fast. That's because I'm moving so fast. Let me keep it at one. I'm gonna eventually screw up by doing it so fast. Oh, he's actually plunging that toilet, dude. That's amazing. Okay, so... Everything looks to be going pretty smooth. We need more stuff here, food, 28,000, just keep it going. Because we're storing it all in here, I'm assuming. Or it might be just laying around, I don't even know. Are we ever gonna dig this out? No research selected? What? What? Did we- did we get it all? Oh, we did! Damn! So we got all that. I can't actually do anything else with the- with this one. So let's go ahead and disable it. Oh, we need dirt. So we need to prioritize that, don't we? So then we need to go over here and we need to dig this stuff up. We need to dig all this up anyway. Actually. <laughs> that needs to happen. So let's do that. Oh, we got another person. I'm not sure that I want anyone else just yet. Yeah, let's go ahead and get another person. This would- it would be helpful if we got another person. Can't dig it. He can't dig. Learning minus three. Can't dig. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this person. Cause you got an all around amazing thing. It's just he can't dig, it's fine. We got other people to dig, that's no problem. So let's sweep up. We got some pollution going on. Uh, and then actually what I wanna do is cancel this. And keep it going for another one. One more. Okay, we unlock stuff now. <gasps> the manual airlock. Hell yes. Okay, so we got that. Let me look at what we unlocked. So we got the manual airlock. Uh, the shower. Okay, so the lavatory we need to set up. We need to set up showers and everything down here once we eventually get to that point. So I'm gonna actually build all this. Uh, and once they get to that, we'll do that. And then over here, we have two more, so we need to make... Like this. And that's- we'll fit another one here and have the open space for the ladder. So that way we can make the other person sleep. One more cot can go right here, and let's go. Let's do it. There we go. Now we're starting to complete the jobs that seem kind of useless to everyone else, but are very important to us. All right, so now we got to do more research. Uh, med bay would be nice, but I kind of want to go somewhere else. Power. Let's do power. It's very important that we do some power. And let's go ahead and fabricate it. We still need dirt to make it work, which somehow this is all working. Oh, everyone's going to sleep. Oh, we got it built! You guys are so quick! I love it! Thank you! Because otherwise, it would have been some shit! Alright, then once we have these built, we'll put down some lavatory stuff, dude. This is gonna be good. This is actually- I feel like this is a good run. I feel like we're doing pretty well for our first time. I mean, well, technically our first time actually playing. I just played and looked at all the tutorials and familiarized myself with it, so... This is still pretty damn good. Let's get all this built. Can we get this stuff done? We need the algae and dirt, too, so let's make that happen. Ooh, what is all this? Sandstone? Holy shit, what is going on? Contaminated water, granite, obsidian, holy shit. That's a lot of stuff. All right, let's build that extra ladder here now. There we go. Okay, so now we can do a shower. Holy shit, that's a big ass. Dude, let's do it. Where do I want this? Uh, lavatory. Let's do lavatory since it's safer then it's- it's reduced stress disease by managing and handling duplicate waste. Okay, so now we have the shower and the lavatory, so we can actually get rid of this outhouse. Uh, deconstruct. We don't need the- the outhouse anymore. We can actually start digging up here since there's so much dirt now. What is that? Hello. Contaminated- oh, it's water. Okay. <laughs> Alright. 
Lavatory and shower are being built. This is actually really good. We got more stuff for oxygen. <gasps> air deodorizer reduces the threat of disease by filtering contaminated oxygen out of the air. Holy shit. We have a lot of stuff to play with. Uh, empty pipe. Oh, no liquid intake. Okay, now we got to start looking at the plumbing. Uh, the intake. Intake and output. So we need liquid pipes, right? So the intake needs to come from a pump. Okay, we can use a- that's right, we can use a bridge. So this will connect to this, right? And then the pump- Wait, that's a bridge. The pump can set right- oh, it needs to be in water, doesn't it? Hmm... Alright, we're gonna have to dig straight down here to get that done. Well, this needs to be deconstructed. And then dig straight down to build what we need. So let that play out. Um, that is for that, and then the- the output, right, will be here, and then it will bridge over. Uh, wait. Okay, so that can go there, and then this can go here? No, because this needs to be- cancel build. Cancel build. This needs to be the bridge. There we go. And then- so wait. So this can connect here, and then there. Oop, not that one. Let's get rid of that. Sorry, this is a little bit confusing. And then that. We don't need the bridge, though. We don't need a bridge, because we just need the pipe. Because we don't need this- we don't need the water to go to the same place. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here, actually. Because I need to- I need to figure out how I'm gonna do the system for the water in order to make these things work. Because it's very important that we have that, and they stay clean. If you guys know about this game, I know a lot of you are not gonna be able to play it. But if you've seen other people, and you have any tips or suggestions, please let me know. Because it will help out a ton. In, uh, in, in the coming episodes, so... So, I'm gonna pause it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy it and want to see more, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with all my latest videos. So, I love you all. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!